Hello friends. In this video we will learn how to solve a problem being asked in TCS Splore assessment. This was the question asked in TCS Splore on February 10th. Learn and understand the question properly. I will teach you from scratch. Let's start to code. Create a new project. Under PyDev select PyDev project. Give any name you want. Follow with me. I will teach you from the scratch. Click finish at last. Right click on the project name then. Select new PyDev module. Give the module name here. Click finish. Let me start with the main function. It will be given in the console itself. You need not worry. Let's store the employee ID in the variable EMP underscore ID. An employee name under EMP underscore name. An employee role under EMP underscore role. EMP underscore salary for employee's salary. Create an empty employee list to store the datas. Append the input obtained into the list. So far so good. Still few left under main section. Follow with me guys. Let's call the class organization with two arguments. Don't worry guys. I will define both the class being called in the main section further i this video. We are going to get the role input and also the increment percentage.
let call the function role underscore inc with two input got from the user. Let's print the name of the employee and also the salary, which is being updated for a specific role. Awesome. We have written the main function of the program. Moreover you do not worry that you have called out classes and function. Which aren't defined yet. Create a class employee. Define a constructor with arguments as. Let's use those we named in the main function. Assign each input to the respective object or variable. Successfully we written the code for constructor. So far so good. Let's continue coding. Create another class organization. Define a constructor for class organization. Let it take two argument. One for organization name and another for employees list. The number of argument called in the main function, and defined outside must be equal for both the classes. Assign the corresponding values to a variable or object.
as employee list is a global function. You need not worry about it. Let's now define a method inside the class employee to update the salary. It will look simple, if you know how to use the operators properly. Now let's define a function or method within the class organization. It take argument employees role and percentage of increment. Let's now search for those employees with the role, for whom we want to update the salary. Let's use for loop for this. Hope you can follow. Let's now call the method defined in the class employee inside the class organization. Now both the methods will be interlinked. Let's now get those records of employees whose salary is being updated. Using return statement we can return the updated list. The updated list will be stored in the variable res, which is defined in the main function. Let's run the code. Specify the input in the order of statement defined. I check for two records. I want to increase the salary of developer with a percentage of 5. Wow great. We successfully written and executed our code. Stay tuned. Follow our channel for more question related to placement. If you need the source code for this answer. Don't worry guys. 
I have mentioned the GetHub link for it in the description of this video.